Hey, hello everyone. Happy Facebook Friday. Thank you for joining me on this week's episode. My name is Lisa Andy Garcia, and this is my helper, Andrew, from Whole Child Learning Solutions. Today, I want to show you how to use muscle testing as a way to test for foods and supplements that you're uh, taking and, or test anything in your environment. Okay, so the way that muscle testing works is by measuring your uh, nervous system response. So when uh, the nervous system see, uh, senses a stressor, it freezes and the muscle will become weak. So this uh, is a defense mechanism going all the way from to the reptiles. Many animals such as lizards, snakes, possums, they freeze and play dead, you know, play possum when the, there's a predator nearby. So this isn't a conscious decision to play dead rather than a reflex of the automatic nervous system. Um, there's a level in our brain that, that many refer to as a reptilian brain, which is deep inside. So when you're muscle testing, um, muscle testing get more complicated than this, but for the purpose of doing testing at home, all you need to understand is that humans have this reflex too. And this reflex can be used um, as a simple diagnostic tool at home when you don't have immediate access to lab tests, for example. All right, so you can muscle test alone or with a partner or even with uh, three people. Actually, muscle testing with a third person can give you a little bit more distinct results. But that's pretty impractical when you're working out. It's usually have, um, you uh, may have another person at home to help or to test if you want to test. Or you can be alone. It might be test alone. But uh, sometimes I recruit someone else like my lovely assistant. And um, you'll want to practice a bit before using it to assess your foods and stuff, right? And you know, to kind of trust that. So first I'm going to show you what some people refer to as the sway test. So this is a standing test and we're both going to uh, be uh, showing you. And anytime you, uh, before you start muscle testing, you want to kind of calibrate yourself. So you want to make sure um, that you know your body, how your body's going to respond. So we're going to start with a true statement and then a false statement, a known true statement and a known false statement. So we usually just simply use my name is. So, um, what we'll do is we'll say what our name is, and we're going to stand and notice what our body wants to do, where it, how it moves. And then we'll say, my name is, and we'll say a different person that's not our name, and we're going to notice what our body does. So stand with me as we do this. And, um, okay, and so we're just going to kind of say to ourselves what my name is, and then what and the false, false one, two, three, ready? Go. My name is Andrew. And so stop now think about like, what did you notice when you said that? Sometimes the first time around, nothing happens because your body's like, going, what are you asking me? Um, uh, you might take a couple times to learn to notice uh, your body. Sometimes you're overcompensating because you know, your body wants to be straight. So it doesn't want to move, it kind of compensates. So just kind of take a few times and just let it naturally move. So what happened when you said your name? Um, they my body moved forward. And what happens when you said Joshua's name? It moved back. So for us, going forward is the positive response and going backwards is the no, the negative response. Now, you might have found the opposite to be true. It had, so if you said your name and you went backwards and then you said somebody else's name and go forward, you could be switched. It's called neurological switching. So if you, you can do two things. You can kind of just for now stay that way and just know that your yeses are always back and your nos are always forward, but for us it's the opposite. Or you can try to unswitch. So we're going to teach you right now how to unswitch. Put your belly, your hand on your belly, and then you have the collarbones right here. Down, if you come down into this space, you're going to put your hand like a C right here. You're going to kind of massage. These are acupuncture points, it's called the Kimmy 27 points. And we're going to rub them a little bit. And breathe, and relax, and breathe. And then you might have to do that for a little bit longer and then you can switch your hand. Okay. And another really good switching point is on the sides of your pinky and your hands right here. So just doing this. And just hitting all those points on that meridian. Okay. 
And you also, for switching, might want to drink some water. Water is very important too, and I didn't bring water with me right now. Okay, and so what you would do is, if you were switched, you would test again. Okay, my name is Lisa. My name is, okay, so you would do that test again. All right, and um, so, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do that, this uh, sway test with some food. So I have some foods already, like common foods, already prepackaged in these little envelopes. I also have some in these little glass bottles, and you can use little clear shot glasses or any kind of kind of a little uh, clear glass. Glass tends to work the best, and you can put your food in here. It's a little bit better to put the food in the glass rather than just holding the food. Um, it makes it a little bit stronger. So if you have the food you want to test, let's say you ate breakfast and you want to test the combination of all your foods, you can put a tiny little bit of all your foods and stick it in the glass. If you want to test the food before you eat it, you can just put it, you can test individual foods or combinations. Sometimes alone, the food is okay, but in combination, then um, there's some kind of a reaction that maybe your body won't like. So, um, so let's, for example, I'm going to be um, just giving him, so sometimes it's helpful to not even know what you're grabbing because then your mind doesn't have to say, well, I know I'm good for that or I'm bad for that. So sometimes it's helpful just to be blind and to trust your body, okay? And then put it near your navel like that. Okay, and that was sugar, okay? So sugar should usually have a negative response, okay? Um, if it's just ordinary sugar, especially, and how about something like, here's, these are a pack of almonds. How about some almonds? Okay. All right, so, and so for sugar, he went back. For almonds, he went forward. And for him, that means the almond is uh, good for him and the sugar is not. Um, there's another way that you can muscle test on your own. And that's to use a pendulum. So a pendulum is... Um, I have two that I really like, um, well, maybe just the, the other one, but I have, so my pendulums look like this. This one's amethyst and the other one's lapis lazuli. I bought them originally just because I thought they were beautiful, but I, until I learned how to use them. But they're a really good way for muscle testing. The, the way that it works is it's actually sensing the subtle shifts of your arm and hand muscles. So it's not magic. It's just, um, it can really, it can sense that shift. And actually, even now, I'm starting to be able to sense my energy a lot more and more in tune with my energy that I can actually feel the energetic shift. And then as I feel that, I notice that the pendulum uh, changes. So what happens is you also have to calibrate the pendulum. Um, for some people, a yes, for me, a yes is when it goes back and forth, a no is when it goes in a circle. Some people have an opposite response. You just have to know which, which is which for you so you know how to read your response. So for example, if I'm gonna test ham, I'll put the, here, let's just use the sugar. Stand up, please. we use the sugar. And then I will just be in his field and I will notice that, can you see that? The pendulum is going in a circle. And if I switch that out for um, the almonds, and I'm in his field, and the pendulum is, oh, can you see it's too low? And the pendulum is going back and forth. I don't know if you can actually see that. Okay. Okay. So um, those are two really easy ways um, to uh, muscle test yourself. A pendulum doesn't have to be anything super special. If you have a necklace with like one, um, like this hanging from it, let's say it's on a chain, then uh, that can most likely act as your pendulum. You just need to check to make sure that uh, that it works. But I've checked my um, necklaces before just so I didn't have to carry this around and it works. Um, okay, so um, if you want to test with a partner, Muscle test, you can use their arm. They can put their arm out like about 45 degrees. If they put it out here, they do get tired after a while, even here. So hold it out straight. Put your hand here just to create a circuit. 
and your body is your energy is going this way not directly in front of them so we're just going to test for strong muscle you're going to push above uh, above the wrist very lightly and they're going to resist so you resist with the same pressure that you're putting pushing in okay. there you go see that's a nice strong arm i'm pushing and he's resisting so if he goes back to the sugar example and I push, and then he's able to go uh, down quite easy. And if I use the almond example, he pushes, and I can even feel I'm pushing quite hard, and his arm is still strong. Okay. So that's how you would um, uh, test with a partner using uh, their arm. Okay, so just so you know, this takes a little bit of practice. Some people kind of try to overpower, especially men. So um, it seems like everything feels strong. So sometimes what you have to do is A, take a sip of water, and um, you know that stimulates the nervous system to respond. And also ask them um, to show you a yes, and then show you a no, and then kind of, you almost have to train them a little bit. Okay, no feels like this, a yes feels like this. And because um, some sometimes men are so strong, they want to like always be yes or always be right. So, um, so, um, and, I'll, and a lot of times I'll even have to ask sometimes um, for you, is that strong for you or is that weak for you? And sometimes it'll feel strong for me still, but they can feel this, uh, the difference that it's uh, weaker. All right, so this week I want you to practice one of the ways to muscle test your foods and your supplements um, to see if you can identify what my, you know, what your body might be telling you like not to eat. Um, the, for me, the pendulum, if it swings really hard back and forth, it's actually telling me that's a good food for me. Sometimes it's dead center, like it doesn't move at all. That's kind of telling me, well, it's not good. It's, I mean, it's, it's like neutral. It's like, maybe it's not really gonna harm me, but it's not really gonna help me. It's just kind of a neutral. But usually you get one or the other response. And But sometimes a big swing would tell me, you better not eat this at all or be near this because it's a, it's a big no-no, okay? Um, please remember to not take the place of the advice of your doctor or your practitioner. Don't start, stop any supplement, medication, or diet program that somebody else has put you on um, without discussing with them first. Um, so this is not to take a place of that. It's just to give you a little bit more information. If you would like to know more, please reach out. I love hearing from you. And I'll see you next Friday. If you have a particular issue you'd like to discuss, please let me know, all right? And remember to always put children first. Thank you.